In this lecture, we will review the different perspectives on abnormal behavior. Those in the field of abnormal psychology study people's emotional, cognitive, and or behavioral problems. Abnormal behavior may be defined as behavior that is disturbing, which is socially unacceptable, distressing, maladaptive, which is self-defeating, and often the result of distorted thoughts, which are cognitions. There are a number of different perspectives used in abnormal psychology. While some psychologists or psychiatrists may focus on a single viewpoint, many mental health professionals use elements from multiple areas in order to better understand and treat psychological disorders. Let us first begin with the medical perspectives. This approach to abnormal psychology focuses on the biological causes of mental illness, emphasizing understanding the underlying cause of disorders, which might include genetic inheritance, related physical illnesses, infections, and chemical imbalances. Medical treatments are often pharmaceutical in nature, although medication is often used in conjunction with some type of psychotherapy. Okay, so those who hold a medical perspective focus on biological and psychological factors as causes of abnormal behavior, which is treated as a disease or mental illness and is diagnosed through symptoms and cured through treatment. Hospitalization and drugs are often preferred methods of treatment rather than psychological investigation. Recent research linking biochemical disorders with some abnormal behaviors has provided some support for this approach. Okay, next, let's move on to the psychodynamic perspective. This perspective has its roots in the theories of Sigmund Freud. The psychoanalytic approach suggests that many abnormal behaviors stem from unconscious thoughts, desires, and memories. While these feelings are outside of awareness, they are still believed to influence conscious actions. Therapists who take this approach believe that by analyzing their memories, behaviors, thoughts, and even dreams, people can uncover and deal with some of the feelings that have been leading to maladaptive behaviors and distress. So again, the psychodynamic perspective proposed as an alternative to the medical approach evolved from Freudian psychoanalytic theory which contends that psychological disorders are the consequence of anxiety produced by unresolved, unconscious conflicts. Treatment focus on identification and resolution of the conflicts. Now, let's move on to the behavioral perspective. This approach to abnormal psychology focuses on observable behaviors. In behavioral therapy, the focus is on reinforcing positive behaviors and not reinforcing maladaptive behaviors. The behavioral approach targets only the behavior itself, not the underlying causes. When dealing with abnormal behavior, a behavioral therapist might utilize strategies such as classical conditioning and operant conditioning to help eliminate unwanted behaviors and teach new desired behaviors. So those espousing a behavioral perspective contend that abnormal behavior results from faulty or ineffective learning and conditioning. Treatments are designed to reshape disordered behavior 
and using traditional learning procedures to treat new, more appropriate, and more adaptive responses. For example, a behavioral analysis of a case of child abuse might suggest that a father abuses his children because he learned the abusive behavior from his father and must now learn more appropriate parenting tactics. Okay, so moving on to the cognitive perspective. The cognitive approach to abnormal psychology focuses on how internal thoughts, perceptions, and reasoning contribute to psychological disorders. Cognitive treatments typically focus on helping the individual change their thoughts or reactions. Cognitive therapy might also be used in conjunction with behavioral methods in a technique known as cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT. So, according to the cognitive perspective, people engage in abnormal behavior because of particular thoughts and behaviors that are often based upon their false assumptions. Treatments are oriented towards helping the maladjusted individual develop new thought processes and new values. Therapy is a process of unlearning maladaptive habits and replacing them with more useful ones. Okay, and the final perspective of today's lecture is entitled the social cultural perspective. From the social cultural perspective, abnormal behavior is learned within a social context ranging from the family to the community to the culture. Cultural variables acquired through learning and cognitive processes are believed to be important and produce an abnormal behavior. Anorexia and bulimia, for example, are psychological disorders found mostly in Western cultures, which value the thin female body. In my next lecture, we will learn all about classifying mental disorders.